College basketball's offseason has been nothing short of, of eventful, with several men's basketball players declaring their plans for the 2022 draft and the women adding a few additions to the transfer portal. Caroline Sorrell walks us through Yvette Mayberry's decision to sign with Kansas early last week. Allen Fieldhouse, home of the Jayhawks. With the growing popularity of the transfer portal, Kansas women's basketball recently gained its newest member. I sat down with soon-to-be junior guard Yvette Mayberry about why she chose KU. Based on everything, I just felt like KU was the right fit for me, what I was looking for, just as far as, you know, how it just felt like family. Honestly, as soon as I visited, met all the players, met the coaching staff, like, I mean, I, I just knew it was the right place for me. And Coach Brandon Schneider is just as excited about adding Mayberry to the family. Obviously, a, a criteria why that, you know, check the box on as well. Just really high character young lady. You want to continue to add, you know, people who contribute to the culture and, and the chemistry of the team. Part of that culture includes playing in historical Allen Fieldhouse, which is something Mayberry doesn't take lightly. It was honestly just breathtaking seeing, you know, the facility, the Allen Fieldhouse, like incredible. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I just felt honored to be able to play play there. The dynamic transfer from Tulsa, who averaged 14 points per game on 44% shooting this past season, said that she was taken aback by the history at Allen Fieldhouse after seeing everything from James Naismith's statue to the rules of basketball written right behind me. But history set aside, Mayberry said she's just excited to get to Kansas and compete. First and foremost, I mean, I'm excited to win. Like, I'm excited to compete and we come together and we can make a run in the NCAA tournament. Like, I, I just have, you know, big hopes, big dreams. And the work starts soon in summer practices. Reporting for KUJH, I'm Caroline Sora. Well, the women's team definitely has some things to look forward to for next season. 